Welcome, I'm Dr. Sutherland, librarian at Colony Central High School. This is a quick introduction to the databases, and right now we're going to explore Gale, which offers lots of scholarly articles, biographies, news articles, magazine articles, primary sources, and more. Whether you're doing research for classes like English, social studies, psychology, or art, this is a great place to begin. Let's go. Let's begin at the district website. So this is southcolonyschools.org. From here, we're going to make sure that we click on the high school website. And then in the middle of the screen, you're looking for a library. From here, you're going to click on CCHS Library Research Center. So in order to access the database passwords, you're going to click on database passwords and then all you have to do is put in your student ID number. So whatever your ID number is, you put it in there, click submit, and then this link right here will take you to the password list for all of the databases. And then you can either screenshot those or take a picture, or write them down, and then you won't have to go through this process each time. So then you're gonna go over to databases and today we're looking at Gale. So here's the link here, we click here. And it's going to redirect and have you choose which subject you're looking for. So for this example, let's say we're looking for the civil rights movement. So that would be a topic in history. So we're gonna click history and you have a couple of options here. So you have US history right here and you also have Gale in context US history. So you could choose either or, but I would recommend you try both um, and see which one you have better luck with. So let's just try this one. And this is where it's going to prompt for a password. So this is where you will need the password from that other page. Okay, so we're ready to begin searching. So if I'm just searching for the civil rights movement, it's going to prompt that. Here are the basic results, okay? So we've got 270 magazine articles, uh, almost 2,000 academic journal articles, some books, news articles, images, videos, etc. So this is up to you to decide where you want to begin. But in general, I always recommend that students begin with academic journal articles. So let's click there. And then you can begin sorting. You know, almost 2,000, that's a lot to go through. So let's narrow that down a bit. Maybe you want to um, search within this. So we've already searched for the term civil rights movement, but maybe within those, we wanna look for some other term or a name. So if I click here, I could search for say Rosa Parks within these documents. And then it's gonna narrow it down to 70 academic journal articles. Notice we are searching for full text so that's what we want to keep because we only want to be looking for articles where we can read the entire thing, um, not articles where we can only read the abstract. So let's say that we've looked through all these and this one looks useful. So we're going to go ahead and click here. And then we can scroll through and check out this article um, all the way at the bottom. I'm going to scroll to the bottom you will notice the citation. This is pretty important. Your citation is done for you. So it's already in MLA 8th edition. So you can click here and highlight this and copy it. And then there will be another video about how to cite your sources in EasyBib or MyBib. Um, so we'll get to that. But just so you know, if you're searching in the databases and you're gonna use an article, here is your citation and you're set to go. Okay, so back at the top, Let's take a look at some of these other things. If you're kind of searching for a topic and you're not really sure what you're looking for, maybe these things will help out. So maybe there's related subjects that might make you think, oh, I never thought to search for that. That is kind of related and maybe I could check that out. Or more articles like this topic. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, if you wanna go back and begin your search again, um, you would go up to US History or Gale One File and that will take you back to home. So we'll do that in just a minute. I also wanna point out though, these features right here. 
So if you wanted to use this article and go through and highlight it digitally, um, here's how you do that. So let's say this sentence right here was useful. We're going to highlight it here and then this pops up and we can click highlight and click whatever color we want. Let's make that yellow. And let's say that um, I wanted to make a note to myself that I wanted to use this in paragraph two of my paper. So I'm gonna say save. And these uh, notes and highlights will save as long as you sign in with your Google account and create an account through Gale so that your notes are saved to your account. You could also send your notes when you're done to your Google Drive, that's another option. But just so you know, as you go, you can click Notes and Highlights and it's gonna show you everything you've done. So that might make life easier instead of printing something to mark it all up. Okay, so let's head back to the main screen and I just wanna show you one more thing here. This topic finder shows up with some of these databases and if you see it, you might wanna click on it and try it out. So if I put the civil rights movement in here, it's going to let me kind of look at the overview. So I can look at tiles or I can look at a wheel. This is kind of a, it's a visualization. I prefer the wheel. So we can kind of browse through here and say, okay, well, I'm looking for something about the civil rights movement. Maybe I wanna study Martin Luther King. Maybe I wanna study his impact on um, the March on Washington. So I can click this spot here and it's gonna show me that there are six articles tagged under Washington with Dr. Martin Luther King. And so I can go ahead and click on those articles and it will take me right to them so I can kind of browse through them and see if it's useful. So you might try the topic finder if you're kind of looking to narrow your search a little bit and you're not sure where to begin. Okay, so hopefully this uh, introduction to Gale was helpful and there will be other videos on the other databases to help you get started.